Now, we all know that the DJI Neo 2 has been released in China, and I've got all the confirmed specs right here. There are some massive upgrades and a few disappointments, and one feature that's honestly hard to believe. Now, let's jump right into it. Before we get into it, here's a quick heads up that I'm stuck in the UK and I'm unable to get my hands on the Neo 2 until the 13th of November. I know, the wait is killing me also, but the good news is we've got the full spec sheet and there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, firstly, let's rip the band-aid off and we'll talk about the disappointments. The things that just didn't make the cut for me. When it comes to sensor size, we're still rocking the half inch sensor. And I know what you're thinking, where's this over inch sensor that we were all thinking was gonna come with this thing? But this is important now. Now, don't write this off just yet. Now, do you remember the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro? There was only minor differences in the upgrades, but the sensor size was still the same. And between the two generations created amazing footage. So while a bigger sensor would have been absolutely brilliant, don't write this off just yet, as you can still create amazing footage with this half inch sensor if you know exactly how to use it. Now, a big disappointment for me at the moment is that there is no D-Log M color mode. Hopefully DJI will add this in at a later date with an update, but come on DJI, we need those advanced color profiles. Next, we'll talk about shutter speed. When it comes to photographs, we're still locked in the same as the original Neil at one tenth of a second. But that's not really a big problem. But here's the kicker. They're claiming 19 minutes of flight time. Now, for me personally, I'd say that's under perfect conditions. As the DJI Neo 2 is 20% heavier, and with the receiver on the back end, I don't think that 19 minutes is gonna cut it. You might have to be flying on cinematic mode, real slow, for around 19 minutes in perfect conditions, maybe indoors. So realistically, I'm thinking the flight times will be just around the same as the Neo 1, depending on how we fly. And here's a massive one for me right now. There has been no confirmation on whether the Neo 2 has a manual mode right now. And I'm hoping that DJI adds this in if it's not a feature right now, because this drone needs that. And that's what we're all hoping for, a better manual mode feature. Hopefully we can dismantle the bits of guards and give it a more lighter, stable weight and it doesn't pick up as much prop wash as the Neo one. Well, that's what we're hoping for anyway. But as of this date of filming this video, there has been no confirmation whether the DJI Neo 2 flies in manual. Disappointments aside, let's talk about where this drone really shines because there are some seriously impressive upgrades here. Take the two axis gimbal. Now that is an impressive upgrade for the Neo 2. As we were balancing with the one axis gimbal and losing a bit of image quality, as we sometimes have to crop the image in to stabilize the roll. Now this will equal a lot more quality loss through image noise and a mushier image. But with this, we're gonna instantly upgrade our quality by not having to crop any image at all whatsoever by using this two axis gimbal. Now that's a massive win instantly. Also a big one for you guys out there, and I know a lot of you have been asking, the Neo 2 could fly over water now without any complications. Now, a lot of us lost our Neo ones to the sea, to the lakes and to the rivers. This thing should be gliding across the water, no problem. So it looks like DJI have listened on that one. Now, when it comes to storage space, we've been promised more storage than 22 gig. Now that is always appreciated when you're out filming all day. The frame rate has got a boost up from 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second with a 100 frames per second slow motion mode for them ultra buttery smooth footage. And we've had a nudge up on the bit rate from 75 to 80. And I mean, you won't really notice this, but every little helps. Let's talk about the power upgrade as this is a massive jump. Now we've got a vertical speed jumping from three meters per second to five meters per second in sports mode and a horizontal speed jumping from eight meters per second to a whopping 12 meters per second. Now that is a massive boost. It would almost be like the Avatar 2 had a baby with the Neo. Some kind of incest drone there. Now, because it's a little heavier and a lot powerful, we're getting better wind stabilization, jumping from four to five. That means a lot more flyable days and a lot better control 
through them dicey gaps, when you've got that power, that weight, everything helps. Now, when it comes to low light performance, this little drone is a sneaky one as it works in a five lux light instead of the original 15 lux. Now, this is a massive improvement and should lead to a lot less flyaways. You know the dance, you're coming through a dark arch or going through tight gaps through the trees and it covers that dark shade and then your drone just wants to fly away. So we should have a lot more less flyaways. Now, here is the unbelievable upgrade. We have saved the best for last. Are you guys ready for this? Now, remember when we first got the Neo and you could control it with your phone and the furthest it ever got was 50 meters. Now, 50 meters without a headset or an FPV controller, we thought was great, but this thing has been boosted up to 500 meters. Now that is massive. Now, full transparency, the Neo One really ever hit that 50 meter claim when it was controlled by mobile. But 500 meters with no controller, just your mobile phone, now that would be a game changer for people. Now, just for context, the Hover Air Drone boasts a 250 to 500 meter Wi-Fi range via mobile. But maybe DJI has actually pulled this off. And this is one thing I will certainly be putting to the test as soon as I get it. Now, a fun one that we have is gesture controls. Now, you can control this drone like you're an absolute Jedi with waves of your hand here and waves of your hand there. I mean, is it necessary? No, not at all. But it's going to be absolutely so fun pretending you're a Jedi out there controlling a little drone bot. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. Now, this is something I am going to be playing with 100%, so stay tuned. Now, let's talk about the omnidirectional obstacle detection. Oh, I said that right, that's a mouthful. One of the magical things about the original Neo was that it would just bump into things and keep going. Now, hopefully this omnidirectional obstacle detection, yeah, I said it right. So I'm curious to see if this obstacle detection makes it any better at threading through forests and tight gaps, or will it make it a little hesitant? Only time will tell. So what's DJI actually doing here? Well, me personally, I think that they're matching the competition specifically the Hover Air Pro and the Pro Max. But DJI has raised the bar with better flight time, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. They've also raised more storage and more flight modes. So basically they're saying, we see you Hover Air Max and we're down to get busy. So let's have it. But DJI has still left us with some burning questions. For instance, will there be a manual mode now, this is a must for LFPV zones like the Neos. And another one is manual camera settings via the app. Now, come on DJI, the Hover A already lets you do this. Now, we want to be able to tweak the ISO and the shutter speed using the app on the mobile, as a lot of people just fly with the mobile app. Now, for a company your size, this shouldn't be hard, as it would make the experience a lot better for people who just use the mobile app to fly. And that's everything we know about the DJI Neo 2. I mean, I do not have the drone in hand at the moment, but as soon as it drops on the 13th, we're doing a deep dive. You can be sure of that. So what new features are you guys most excited about? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see that full deep dive, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with notifications on. I'm Adam from Drone and Lens. You guys have been colorful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you feel like you got any type of value whatsoever can you please hit that like button and smash subscribe as it really helps my channel grow you know the dance you guys have been colorful and i hope to see you in the next video